Hey guys, so my name is Amanda and this is going to be my first YouTube video ever. I'm really excited but a little nervous at the same time. Um, I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for over a year and a half and I just haven't done it. But um, I'm going to start, I told myself I was going to start at the beginning of the year but oops. Um, yeah, so I'll start in February and I thought the first thing to do would be to say hello and do a book haul. So I'm going to show you a bunch of books that I got over Christmas. I know a long time ago, but like I said, I'm a little behind. So let's just go ahead and get started and I'll show you the books that I have. So the first book that I got for Christmas is The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. Um, I'm very, very curious to read this. I'm not into adult fiction at all. I find it kind of boring sometimes, but I don't know, I'm just really, really curious to read this, and I think after seeing everybody review it, I kind of know what I'm getting myself into, so um, I think going in in the right mindset, I'll probably be able to enjoy it for what it is. So, yeah. So the next book that I got for Christmas is The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgen Burnett, and I loved this movie when I was little, so I asked it for this book for Christmas because I really, really liked these um, Barnes & Noble classics. These leather bound editions, I think they're really, really cute. And then I also got a little princess. Yay! Again. Cute. So, um, I don't know when I'm going to get around to reading these, but I know I'm interested in reading the actual story because I know the movie pretty well. The next couple of books I actually got from Barnes & Noble. Um, I picked up To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Um, I don't remember reading this in school. Honestly, reading in school, I just kind of read enough to pass. <laughs> uh, very, very bad of me. Um, but I don't I don't think I read this in school. Um, and again, I wanted to get the leather bound edition just because I thought it was really, really nice. Um, and I thought it would be a really good classic to pick up since I heard it was really, really good. Next book I picked up is Serafina by Rachel Hartman. Um, I've been really, really into fantasy and I know a lot of people loved this book, so I had to pick it up. The next book I picked up is The Pledge by Kimberly Durding. Really, really interested in reading this one. Um, not gonna lie, it was the cover that drew me in the most. Um, there's so many dystopian books out there that I want to pick up, but this cover one. I also picked up Divergent and Insurgent by Veronica Roth. Um, I picked up these books a very, very long time ago, but I ended up giving them to my nephew, and I just haven't picked them up since. And now I own them. Yay! Um, I don't know when I'm going to read them. I was actually thinking maybe I should wait till the third book comes out. I don't know. We'll see if I can wait that long. The next book I picked up is 1984 by George Orwell. Um, I saw a Nerd in Translation haul this book. And like I said, I want to get into more classics. And I really enjoyed I think Animal Farm was one of the books I actually read and enjoyed in school that I can remember. So um, I saw this, never read 1984, and I saw this edition, so I thought, perfect, I'll pick it up. Next, I picked up City of Bones. Um, this is the first book in the Mortal Instruments series. I haven't read any of them, and I went ahead and ordered this online because I can never find this at any used bookstore in decent condition. I can never find City of Bones. I can always find the next two books, but I can never find this one. So I went ahead and picked it up. Um, I'm really, really curious to see um, what the story's about. I know some people love it, some people hate it, so can't wait to see what I think. But the next couple of books I picked up from Half Price Books, or I ordered on halfpricebooks.com. Um, I got City of Glass by Cassandra Clare, and this book actually is in perfect condition and I just want to thank all of you who buy your books and take excellent excellent care of your books and then sell them to half-price books where they give you 45 cents so I can buy it for seven dollars thank you um, yeah I also picked up The Dark and Hollow Places by Carrie Ryan I, I don't know if this is the first or second book but um, I really really want to read this series so I heard it was good had to pick it up I also picked up The Looking Glass Wars by Frank Bedore. Um, this is supposed to be like a retelling slash adaptation of um, Alice in Wonderland's The Looking Glass. And I do want to read that this year, and I thought that this would be a good book to read 
with Alice in Wonderland. So the next book I picked up, I got specifically because I think the cover is gorgeous, and that is Burn for Burn by Siobhan Vivian and Jenny Han. Um, I honestly, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna like this, but I really liked the cover, so I hope. I hope I do. I do. I do buy books because of the cover sometimes. I'm sorry. I'm one of those. I am. I am. They just like, they woo me. Can't help it. I got Hold Me Closer Necromancer by Alicia McBride, which is supposed to be amazing. And can't wait to read it. The next book that I got is The Last Tycoon by F. Scott Fitzgerald love these editions. I think they're really, really pretty, and then on the shelves, they look really, really nice. So, I got this one, and then I got The Great Gatsby, um, and hopefully I can collect them slowly but surely. <clears throat> I also got Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. I think this is such, such, such a pretty, pretty edition, and it's ginormous. It's really, really big, but I don't know when I'm going to get around to reading it. I think this will probably be like a year-long endeavor and read a little bit. <sighs> a little bit at a time, definitely. <laughs> so the next book that I got is The Wizard of Oz by Frank L. Baum. Um, I really, really love this Penguin's Thread edition. I'm not really a huge fan of all the other books. Um, but I really, when I saw this one, I really, really liked it. So, um, I think that's probably the only one that I'm going to be getting in this, um, like thread style. I might get Little Women, because I like that one, but the other ones I didn't think were very nice. But, yeah. So pretty. The next book I got is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, I've been wanting to read The Lord of the Rings, um, but I wanted to read The Hobbit first, obviously, since it came before. But, um, I saw this really really nice cloth bound edition so I went ahead and picked this one up and I can't wait to read it I also picked up another classic Emma by Jane Austen look how gorgeous this is this is the white um, fine cloth bound edition we have like these really really pretty end pages and a little ribbon um, they have about five or six classics in these really really nice cloth bound style and I think they're so 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 nice so I want to collect them all again I don't know when but I went ahead and picked up Emma I also picked up Weathering Heights by Emily Bronte in the same collection and this is what the end pages look like so nice it's really really pretty um, and I can't wait to read it those are all the books I picked up over Christmas time and I hope you enjoyed it um, I'm going to be filming right after this my February TBR, which is also very, very late. So um, I will upload this video and then my February TBR. Okay? Go ahead and subscribe if you like, um, and also leave pointers down below. Like I said, this is my first time. It's definitely a different experience being in front of the camera and a bigger struggle to not look at yourself. <laughs> um, I should probably just turn the thing around because looking into a camera is very weird. But anyways, um, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.